neat and clean and organized, but there was a holdout, a very big holdout. And I had it clean up to this doorway, but this, the next holdout was right through there. Right here. In that closet. Oh, this was terrible. I mean, there's stuff that's stacked up about three feet tall in here. Or taller. It was bad. Yeah, like up to the dresses. Yeah, it looks a lot so, better than it did. This is what I have left to deal with. But I think we're making, I need to finish this today for my sanity. This is our recycle bin. It looks like Janelle uh, raised that up about eight inches or so. There's the mending pile with a massive hole. Over a plot. Over a Whole bunch of mending. Janelle was hurrying too fast to get video, so let's see what she did. Look at that. All cleaned. Is that wonder, better? Yes, yeah, so I wonder how many kids we could fit in there. A lot. Guys, shoe them in, shoe them in. Oh, you have two. A baby in the mending basket. Peter wants to see if the whole family can fit inside the closet. Go, go, go. Do you go, think we go. can do it? No, go in. No, go in. No, 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 no. Okay, go ahead, Peter. Peter, you go in, Daddy. Six people in here. We lack but Charity and Mommy. Oh, here comes Mommy. Seven. This is like one of those shows how many people can fit in a car. Or in a phone booth. Or in a phone booth. Well, this is how many people can fit in a closet. Eight. And we have eight. Uh, we couldn't have done this at the beginning of the day. No. Yay, Mommy. She cleaned what? up. Woo! Woo! I got pushed out. If you guys have wondered where I've been all day, I have been taking my American Red Cross instructor updates. And one wasn't that bad. It was only 25 slides, but the other one was 178 slides with videos. And that took me almost two hours to complete. A lot of work, but it's done. I will be able to now teach first aid and CPR once again. I'm going to go for a walk. It's over 60 degrees today. It's awesome. So I'm totally getting a walk in today. It's been crazy the whole afternoon. I just got back from a walk with my neighbor. We did about two and a half miles and now I'm getting ready to go down to the emergency squad. I have a meeting tonight. I have some stuff I need to do before the meeting to prepare for that and then Art's got the kids. So just overall a rather crazy day. I'll leave the camera with him and let him maybe catch up on some footage because I think today's pretty pretty slow day but that's because I've been getting so much work done and it really feels good to catch up on some of these things but I have a lot more that I need to do for the month of March. Good morning. Early, early in the wee hours of the morning to this morning at four o'clock I was awoken, I woke up to the sound of little pitter patters again and I was thinking, I was hearing things but I listened quietly and I heard them again so I got up and who did I find sitting in my office on my chair in front of my computer but Mary. Mary was awake. Apparently she woke herself up, needed to go potty, took herself potty, which is a big thing for her. I asked her if he did some filming yesterday after I talked to you guys and left and he goes, mm, I don't think I did. So I'm sorry, we didn't say goodnight to you or anything. I, I actually got home a little late. There wasn't any calls, but I was just chit chatting with the crew down there. Today I plan on working on getting stuff for Grace's birthday tomorrow. And again, we're not doing a big, huge thing. Even though it's her first birthday, I just, we just do things with family. And I have to make sure that I have everything set for her cake. I'm actually not sure what I'm doing for a cake, but we're gonna figure that out today. I'm trying to make something for Grace's birthday. Oh, you wanna take, make something for Grace's birthday? Yeah. Okay. I owe you. Pete's working on writing a letter to a Why? friend. Good job, Peter. Why? I think I'm going to prune my trees yes. today because they're looking just a little icky, particularly this guy. This guy's just not, that just does not seem like that should look like that. I'm so hesitant of pruning things, but after reading that book about pruning fruit trees, it really is, I don't want to say a necessary evil, but it's one of those necessary things you really need to do. So I'm going to kind of go out on a limb today and prune that tree. And they say that wherever you cut, it's actually going to force out new growth. And I'm hoping that we'll have a really good year for oranges. We had a really good year this past year. Look what's coming up along the edge of the chicken goop. My daffodils. You're a noisy thing. You guys have a lot to say or something? Yeah, you. You're the noisy one right there. Ooh. 
here's how it looks before pruning, and this is how it looks after. I think it's better. We'll see. I'm going to give it a big drink of water. I moved our pepper seeds to the window here. They don't technically need to be in the sun, but I wanted them off the kitchen counter. And then I put the orange and the lemon tree and just moved the chair out of here. When it's this time of year, I always have lots of gardening plants and all those things in the live um, dining room because this is the sunniest window and things seem to grow really really well in this window so we just kind of move the furniture out and let our things grow and then by the time May rolls around everything goes outside and I get my dining room back. What are we doing Mary? Outside. Outside. We gotta look for some pots in our potting soil which should be by the chicken coop. We found the pots but now we need to get some potting mix. I don't see any more. Do you see the little green daffodils, Mary? That's a lot of daffodils. Wow, you got some big walking sticks there, Mary. Yes. One, two, careful. All right, we're all getting ready to go for a little walk. Look where we ended up. Daddy's shop. Daddy's shop. And it still looks pretty clean, considering. Yeah, not too bad. Actually, we're taking a walk to the hardware store because I need some more potting soil for my project that I'm working on. And I was looking for some assistance dragging some children up to the hardware store. So, Art's always a good, good uh, guinea pig to drop what he's doing and come rescue his uh, damsel in distress. Hop on in. Put it down. Mary, Lydia, show me what you got. Some Time seed starting potting Time mix. I've got my orange branch, my potting soil, my nippers, some pots, and I have the most important part. I have Mary to help. Tops. You're gonna help? Tops and mommy tops. What do you need? Cups. Cups? Well, what we're going to do, Mary, is we're going to put that soil in the pot. Is it okay if we make a mess? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're outside. Because they, they're four. Okay. Four. I don't know if I know what I'm doing. Mommy's cutting the, the leaves off. Mary's filling up dirt. Fudo's tank. And I'm filling up dirt. I have four branches here that I trimmed up. Let's get this. There we go. We trimmed them up, trimmed the leaves, and the girls are filling up the, the things with the potting soil. And the last part is the rooting hormone, which I have right here. You can't actually see the container all that well. Here is the cutting with the rooting hormone on it, and we'll just put it inside the hole like that. That's mine. Yep. Push, yep. Push it in just like that. Good job. Do you know how unusual it is, Art, to be able to do this on March 9th? I know. Outside planting plants. I know, that is it's amazing. Fabulous. So why did you cut the leaves? I cut the leaves because I want the plant to put all of its focus and energy into growing roots. And that's the most important thing right now because without, oops, without the roots growing, the plant's going to die. So it's sort of like one of those things you you hurt the plant to make the plant stronger. Isn't that sort of like life? Yes. Oh, and also, as you see, we're going to eat outside today on the picnic oh, table. Out here. We're ready to eat outside. Oh, John has a book, of course. We're ready to eat outside. Remember the rule, no books at the table. We were sitting there eating lunch, and all of a sudden, Janelle got up and walked over here and started trimming with no explanation. <laughs> Be done. Somebody wants to play baseball. Wow, that is interesting. A long, a long dress and her muck boots. Yeah, she's a new driver. Well, it's warm and everyone's outside. I might as well do the compost. It's getting pretty bad and needs to get turned over. I got a little bit of the compost done, but I have to head back to work now. We'll finish up the other two later. And we have some nice compost for our front gardens. Janelle got the grape arbor all trimmed. There are all the little trees. We'll just put them on here. 
And there's one more thing I actually have to do to these before they're ready to start rooting. The last part to doing these is taking a bag. I'm using or recycling um, bread bags and we're gonna stick it over the plant and then put a rubber band to seal it at the bottom. That's gonna turn the plant into like its own little personal greenhouse. And the way you're probably wondering, how am I gonna water it? Well, what we'll do is every couple days, we'll just soak the plant in a, um, a container of water and let it pull up the water from the bottom where there's holes in the containers. And that should be enough to water the plant. But remember, because it's in its own little greenhouse environment, it's not really losing a whole lot of moisture. There they are, all in their little greenhouses. Art's concerned that they're not going to get enough something, carbon dioxide or something in there. But I'll do a little reading up on it and see if I have to worry about that or not. That's one. Mary, put yeah. yours in. There it goes. Good job. Nice, Mary. Nice, Mary. Yeah, can I get the meal out, Daddy? Thank you. Oh, there's probably nothing in it. Uh, I'll tell you. Got your hand? Oh, no, you gotta put it, you gotta turn it this way. Wait, wait, there you go. Okay, now, now we have Lydia. Oh, come here. Oh, nothing. On our way to getting some milk. We got our milk, and while Art ran in, I was looking at the Stark Brothers catalog. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's a gardener's, it's, they probably do fruit trees and nut trees and things like that although they have expanded their catalog in the last couple of years but it's so much fun to look at these catalogs I saw that they have lime trees and olive trees both that you can grow inside like our orange and lemon and we were just having a discussion about how maybe the kids would like to grow one of those and I was thinking maybe we should just go on the garage sale site and see if anybody has a cutting you know, wait until the orange trees grow. If they grow in that potting mix with the rooting hormone and all that, if that works, maybe I can just get a cutting from somebody and try growing it at home and we can use it as a school experiment with the kids. I don't know, that's what I was thinking. What do you think? Um, probably easier just to buy them. Uh, <laughs> well, you yeah, want to support Stark Brothers too. That's they true. Sell, they sell a lot of good stuff. So, um, yeah, I love Okay, I usually don't like spending money, but I love spending money on fruit trees. I'd have an orchard if I could. We don't have enough land for an orchard. But again, all I think all of this is inspired because I read that little book, um, how, Grow a Little Fruit Tree, and it was just, it made having fruit trees accessible where before I sort of felt overwhelmed because I didn't know how to trim them. But now that I feel a little bit more confident in trimming them, I'm ready to bring on the fruit trees. Big old hawk just went down into that swamp to pick something up. There he goes, look at that. We came home and we don't have dinner ready and I have no idea what Janelle's doing, but I have a feeling she's gonna whip something up real quick. I'm whipping something. Do you know what it's gonna be yet? Are you nope. still, oh. Well, sort of, but well, not totally. What's it turning into? It's turning into something that sort of resembles beef stroganoff. The thing about cooking is, you know, you really can't ruin anything. <laughs> I, okay, if you know the basic principles and rules of cooking, and if you taste along the way and smell along the way, you really can't go wrong. Oh, there goes the ambulance. She has to let us know what's going on. Might be a pregnancy. What is it? Not pregnancy. Fallen! I just added some brown gravy mix. I think that's going to add a lot of flavor. And this is going to be good. I can taste it already. Well, you just whipped that up in no time. Yeah, I just got to cook. The noodles have to cook and we're ready to eat. Is it all done? Just about. Just going to mix in the cream cheese or the sour cream. Who's enjoying mommy's yummy cooking? I am. And the person who I think is enjoying it the most is this little one. Whoops. Uh oh. Did I just drop something? Yes, yeah. you did. Oh no. She goes, I got it. No worries, Ma. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Yummy!